Hello lovely people, today is going to be a very quick one. Um, recently somebody on um, Infinite Baffle Facebook group asked how much uh, do you need power for subs that are not optimized for Infinite Baffle and somebody said like 50%, 30% and that kind of stuff. So today I'm going to show you a very quick way how to figure out uh, how much power you can send to an infinite baffle sub for like any sub that you have. It doesn't matter if it's optimized or not, not optimized. For that, you will need a program called, I have no idea how to pronounce it, Bitux CAD, whatever, uh, loudspeaker simulator. So this simulator is similar to WinISD, but it does like um, passive crossovers and all the other stuff. So it, you can download it here, download latest build. And when you download it, it's going to open like this. And we don't, this, so this is like crossover. So we're going to go, go to tools and enclosure. And this is very similar to uh, WinISD. So here the green plus is going to add, uh, let you add a new driver. So you're going to put your TS parameters of your driver that you have. I have a few here. So let me show you. Um, my Alpine Type X that I had before, which is not optimized, and my FI uh, 315, which is optimized. So first Alpine. Here on the left, uh, radiator type, we're gonna choose infinite baffle. And here you have all the graphs. So SPLs, power, impedance, group. What we need is we need excursion on the right side. So we're gonna double click it. So I know my uh, Alpine Type X uh, limit uh, X max is 24 millimeters. And here uh, we have U, which is you can uh, add voltage, but I'm going to choose P for power. And I'm going to enter watts. And what you're going to do is you're going to increase the watts until your excursion is going to hit X max. So let's try rated power for this sub is 900 watts. Let's put 900 watts. Enter and it shoots through the roof. See, so with 900 watts, uh, anything below uh, 33, 34 hertz, I'm going over X max, so we need to reduce this. So let's put 500 watts, still too much, 300, uh, still a bit too much, let's put 250 or 200. So with 200 watts, I'm reaching X max at 10 Hertz. Now you say there's no music at 10 Hertz. So let's say, let's aim for 2025. Let's put 300, uh, 400. Yeah, so like 400 Watts and X max is gonna be reached at 23 Hertz. Everything below is gonna be over X max. So this is sub that is not optimized for uh, infinite baffle. Now, FI, FI, IB315, this sub is optimized, it's made for infinite baffle, and it's rated at 600 watts RMS. And if I put 600 watts, as you can see, uh, this sub has X, X max of 34 millimeters, and that's what it means when it's optimized. Optimized is basically you give it rated power and it stays on X max down to zero hertz. So you're reaching 34 millimeter at like what, 13, 12, 12 hertz, and then it just stays there. So this sub is optimized. Let's, for example, take a few others. So I put like Stereo Integrity SQL 15. It's a popular sub that people use for Infinite Baffle. And I, I am not sure uh, what's it rated for. Does it say here? Uh, it doesn't say peak. Oh yeah. So it's rated uh, for 1000 watts here. So if we're going to put 1000 watts, Again, excursion goes through the roof. So let's remove it. Let's put 400 and 400 down to 10 Hertz is totally fine. Cool. Uh, JL 13W7, let's try that one. Again, rated a thousand Watts. So for this one, we need even less. Let's say 350. 
yeah with 350 at 10 hertz it's reaching excursion limits so you can put any sub you want you just put ts parameters uh choose infinite baffle uh choose this excursion graph and increase the power until you're gonna hit x max limits that is how you find out how much power your sub can handle in infinite baffle application so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one